Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions. A very important reaction shown by benzene and benzenoid compounds. What is aromatic electrophilic substitution? The replacement of hydrogen atom of a benzene ring with an electrophile is generally referred to as aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. If we take benzene, it has six hydrogens and all the six hydrogens are equivalent. When you treat it with an electrophile, one of the hydrogen atom of benzene gets replaced with electrophilic group. Generally electrophiles are of two types positive electrophiles and neutral electrophiles. Positive electrophiles includes cations like Cl+, Br+, NO2+, and all the alkyl carbocations. Neutral electrophiles includes Lewis acids like aluminum chloride, boron trifluoride, and molecules with multiple bonds like SO3, carbon dioxide, etc. What are the reactions which comes under aromatic electrophilic substitution? First one is chlorination in which the hydrogen atom of benzene ring is replaced with chlorine. Similarly bromination where it is replaced with bromine atom. In the case of alkylation which is generally called as friedel crafts alkylation, alkyl groups gets replaced with hydrogen atom. Similarly in friedel crafts acylation, acyl group that is or CO group gets attached in the place of hydrogen. Sulfonation, sulfonic acid group is replaced with hydrogen and nitration, NO2 group is attached at the place of hydrogen. Okay, now let's see the general mechanism for all these reactions. If electron deficient electrophile approaches electron rich benzene system, it forms a bond with the benzene carbon using the pi electrons, due to which a sigma complex, which is otherwise called as arenium ion, is obtained as an intermediate. This arenium ion is stabilized by resonance. As you see here, the positive charge is delocalized within the benzene ring. But this arenium ion is non-aromatic because one carbon is sp3 hybridized and all other carbons are sp2 hybridized. So complete delocalization is not possible. In order to regain the aromaticity, the hydrogen is lost which leads to the formation of the substituted product. Let's see some key points about all these reactions. Halogenation, the reagents generally used are halogen in presence of Lewis acid, but for iodination, we particularly use nitric acid because iodination of benzene is a reversible reaction. In order to shift the reaction to forward direction, the byproduct HI should be converted back to iodine, which is done by concentrated nitric acid, which in this case acts as an oxidizing agent. The formation of electrophile. When the Lewis acid, which is electron deficient, reacts with the halogen, it polarizes the halogen and forms a complex which dissociates to form the electrophile chlorinium ion. In the case of nitration, the reagent used is called nitrating mixture, which is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. If the OH group of nitric acid gets protonated by sulfuric acid, it forms an intermediate from which when water is eliminated, you get NO2 plus nitronium ion as an electrophile. For sulfonation, we use concentrated sulfuric acid 
or a mixture of sulfur trioxide and sulfuric acid which is called as fuming sulfuric acid or oleum. When one sulfuric acid molecule is protonated by another sulfuric acid molecule, you get SO3H plus as an electrophile which releases H plus to give SO3. Either you can consider SO3H plus as electrophile or SO3 as electrophile in sulfonation. An important thing is sulfonation is a reversible reaction when it is heated with dilute sulfuric acid. For Friedel-Crafts alkylation, we generally use alkyl chlorides in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride. We can also do alkylation using alkenes in presence of acids and alcohols in presence of HF. All these reagents will form alkyl carbocations. When aluminum chloride reacts with alkyl chloride, it polarizes the RCl bond and forms a complex which dissociates to form the carbocation. The formed carbocation can undergo rearrangement to form stable carbocation by hydrogen or alkyl shift as we know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary which is more stable than primary. Generally, Friedel-Crafts reaction is not possible with benzenoid compounds having electron withdrawing groups like NO2, SO3H etc. And we cannot use reagents like vinyl halides and aryl halides as they form unstable carbocations. In Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction, the reagents used are acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. When AlCl3 is treated with acetyl chloride, it will break the COCl bond heterolytically to form the acyl carbocation or acetyl carbocation. If you take a mono substituted benzene ring, the remaining 5 hydrogens are not equivalent. The positions which are adjacent to the already substituted group are called as ortho positions. And the alternate positions are called as meta position. Direct opposite position is called as para position. And remember these positions are related to the position of X. When the benzene ring has electron donating groups in it and if you treat it with an electrophile, the electron donating group will direct the incoming electrophile towards ortho and para positions. And if the benzene ring has electron withdrawing groups, it will direct the incoming electrophile towards meta position. Let's discuss about the nature of various functional groups. Amines and substituted amines increases the electron density of benzene ring by donating their lone pair of electrons. So they are highly activating groups. Similarly, hydroxy and methoxy groups, they are less activating than amino groups because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. The electron is not easily donated to the benzene ring. Amides and esters, their activating nature is further decreased because the lone pair of electrons are involved in resonance with the nearby carbonyl group. Alkyl groups are also activating but they don't have lone pairs. They increase the electron density of benzene ring by positive inductive effect plus I effect. Halogens are deactivating groups which decreases the electron density in the benzene ring by their minus I effect. Carbonyl compounds like aldehydes, ketones, acids, acid chlorides, etc. are deactivating groups. Other deactivating groups include NO2, CN, SO3H, NH3+, CF3, etc. The activating strength among these groups increases from bottom to top as shown here and the deactivating strength increases from top to bottom among these groups.
Now all the groups which are shown in red color here are activating groups. They are all electron donating groups and ortho para directors. Halogens are actually deactivating groups but still they have lone pairs so they are electron donating groups and they are also ortho para directors. All other groups are deactivating groups, electron withdrawing groups and they are meta directors. The trick to remember these groups as ortho para and meta directing groups. To be ortho para director the atom attached to the benzene ring should have a lone pair except alkyls and aryl groups. To be a meta director the atom attached to the benzene ring should have multiple bonds or a positive charge or it should be attached with highly electronegative atoms. Why electron donating groups acts as ortho para directors? To explain that we shall take phenol as an example in which the OH group increases the electron density of the benzene ring by donating its lone pair. So it is an activating group. The electron density in the benzene ring is increased particularly at ortho and para positions. It will be clear from the resonance structures as shown here. The electron density is more at ortho and para positions. So the electrophile can easily attack at ortho and para positions. Why electron withdrawing groups acts as meta directors? If we take the case of benzaldehyde, due to the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen, the electron density of the benzene ring is pulled out by the aldehyde group. So it is a deactivating group. The electron density is decreased in the benzene ring, particularly at ortho and para positions. And comparatively, the electron density is more at meta position. So the incoming electrophile can easily attack at the meta position. If you take a di substituted benzene, the position of the incoming electrophile is determined by the directing effect of both groups present already in the benzene ring. Case 1, if both groups directs to same position, if one is electron donating, another is electron withdrawing, and if they are present at ortho positions, this position is ortho to electron donating and this one is para to electron donating and the same positions are meta to electron withdrawing group. If both the groups are electron donating and if they are present at the meta positions, this particular position is ortho to the green group and this is para to green group and this one is para to blue group and ortho to blue group. This particular ortho position is unfavored because of steric hindrance. If the groups are present at para positions and one is electron donating another is electron withdrawing, then this is the only position which is ortho to electron donating and meta to electron withdrawing. For example, if we take ortho nitro anisole, OCH3 is electron donating in nature and NO2 is electron withdrawing in nature. Both these groups will direct the incoming electrophile to these two positions in which the para position is less hindered so it will be the major product. In this example CH3 group is electron donating, SO3H is electron withdrawing. So both of them will direct the incoming electrophile to these two positions. And since these two positions are symmetrical in nature, the only product obtained is this one. Here OCH3 and CH3 both are electron donating groups. Both of them will direct the incoming electrophile towards these two positions. This particular position is not favored due to steric hindrance. 
and this one is a major product as CH3 is a smaller group compared to OCH3. It is sterically favored. Case 2. If the two groups directs to different positions and if the groups are of different nature, one is electron donating, another is electron withdrawing. Electron donating group wins over electron withdrawing group. So these are the two positions to which the incoming electrophile is directed. This particular position is not favored because of steric hindrance. For example, in this compound NH2 group is electron donating, NO2 is electron withdrawing. So the incoming electrophile is directed by NH2 group to these two positions. Even though this is ortho to NH2, this is not favored because this is sterically hindered. So the major product in this reaction is this one. As NH2 is smaller than NO2, this is sterically favored. If both the groups are of same nature, if both of them are electron donating groups, strong electron donating group wins over weak electron donating group. In this case, the two groups will direct the incoming electrophile towards these four positions in which two positions are symmetrical in nature so we can omit that. In this example, NH2 group is more activating than CH3. So the electrophile is substituted at the ortho position to NH2 group. In this case, the electron donating groups are at ortho position and they direct the incoming electrophile towards these four positions. In this example, OCH3 is more activating, so it will direct the incoming electrophile towards its ortho and para positions. Question and answers related to this concept will be discussed in the next part of the video. Thanks for watching.